Let's take a look at the difference between methane, that's CH4, and methanol, CH3OH. The big difference is we have this oxygen atom here. And because the oxygen atoms bonded to a hydrogen, this OH group here, and that's bonded to a carbon, and this is considered an alcohol. Over here, it's just a carbon with single bonded hydrogens, that's considered an alkane. So the oxygen here bonded to the hydrogen, this has a big influence on the properties, the chemical and physical properties of methanol. So if we look at the surface of the molecule here, because the oxygen right here is more electronegative, it's gonna be a little bit negative. The hydrogen's down here, a little more positive. So we have negative and positive, we have poles. This is a polar molecule. And because it's a polar molecule, it'll be attracted to other polar molecules and itself, because it has negatives and positives, opposites attract. So it sticks together, makes it hard to boil, so it has a higher boiling point. And again, the dipole-dipole attraction, that means it's a liquid because it's kind of staying together. When you look at the alkane methane here, it's a gas because pretty much if you looked at the surface, it would all be green. There wouldn't be any negatives or positives. So it would boil at a very low temperature and melt at a very low temperature because it doesn't stay together very well. Another consequence of the polarity is that since water's polar and methanol's polar, it's soluble in water. Methane, not so much since it's nonpolar. If you look at the uses, they're both used as fuels. Methanol is often used as a solvent, dissolves things, and it's a chemical precursor. It's made to start out a lot of chemical processes and make new chemicals. Methane here, it's from natural gas, so it is a very popular fuel and used quite frequently in homes. Those are the big differences. Really, a lot of it comes down to this alcohol group here that makes it a polar molecule. It's Dr. B looking at the difference between methane and methanol. Thanks for watching.